Hello, class. How are you today? Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hi. How are you today, guys? Are you ready for the class for today? Well, uh, let me tell you guys, today we have a long, but a long agenda. Uh, our main goal will be uh, complete the, <clears throat> the lesson one. For and after that, try to start with the lesson two. Uh, as I mentioned today in the chat, uh, we will have a little review about some stuff, for example, uh, what we are already learned in this course. Well, we are, we were talking about yesterday about simple present. And also we talk about the, uh, <clears throat> sorry, the possessive adjectives. If you remember yesterday we made some exercise, for example, when we talk, start talking about the daughter of the sister of Miss Julita, and also we may we speak about the third person in simple present. And we talk about also about WH questions, and the most important and the most common uses, uh, if you remember, is how, when, and where. Uh, also, we learn about we may ask a little test about those aims and your work. You did a great job. And just we may end one, but everybody missed at least once. After that, uh, <clears throat> we start this part for today. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where just no question and short answer will be introduced. Yéndonos al español, nosotros estaremos viendo este día un video en la cual escucharemos una conversación entre dos personas donde preguntas y respuestas cortas con el verbo be son presentadas. Antes de comenzar con esto, me gustaría también presentarles o explicarles la imagen. Antes de comenzar, ¿alguien sabe qué es esto? Esto que está aquí. Come on, guys. What's the meaning of this? Respuestas con B. Sí, son respuestas con B. Pero esto que he encerrado aquí en el círculo. Esto es el pasado del verbo be. Es un tema que ustedes lo verán más adelante. Por el momento no le tomaremos mucha importancia. Pero sí quería mostrárselos. Mostrarle que la forma pasa del pasado de be es was y were. ¿En qué momento se escupa was? En tercera persona y en primera. Where los demás. Pero eso va a ser tema para otra clase. Eh, les pido disculpas de antemano por mi apariencia, si se fijan, estoy medio borroso, pero es debido a que estoy ocupando un filtro. Eh, si les molesta, pues, de la vista, díganmelo. Yo con gusto voy a desactivar la cámara. Ahora, volviendo con el tema. Muy bien. The verb to be has uh, three forms in the present, am, is, and are, as we learned uh, yesterday. And the verb to be has two forms in the past, was and were, as I mentioned, but right now, don't pay attention in this part. The rule for making question. When we are making a yes or no questions, we put the verb be at the beginning 
of a sentence, like this. This is the structure. What's the name of this? ¿Cuál es el significado de esto, guys? Come on, you can do it. Este que está aquí, ya le voy a, a, a colorear. Just give me a second, guys. This one. Can you see the circle? Yes. Okay, what's the name of this? Esto, chicos, es el verbo to be. Este es el verbo to be en su base form, cuando nosotros hablamos en tercera persona. Cuando es tercera persona, remember, he, she, it. Cuando vamos a hacer una pregunta, la estructura es, verbo to be el inicio, and then, what's the name of this? The red circle. Disculpe, teacher. Sí. No sé si seré solo yo, pero a mí no, no estoy viendo la pantalla, quizás que usted está mostrando. Ah, Igual. Exacto, por eso es que no le contestamos. Ah, lo siento, guys. Muchas gracias, me hubieran dicho eso desde un inicio. Creo que, permítame. ¿La ven ahora? Yeah. Yes. I'm so sorry. Okay. No uh, problem. As I mentioned, guys, this is, I will try to write it down as circle. This is the past form of the verb. No, I hope. It's this. Esta. This is the past form of verb B. The big difference between the present and the past is that verb B just has two form in past. But in present has three form. In las forma pasada the B para he, she, it, and I is was. You, we, they, were. Pero eso va a ser un tema que ustedes mirarán mucho más adelante. Ahorita lo explico para hacer hincapié en que ambas van a ser <coughs> la misma forma para hacer preguntas de sí o no, tanto en pasado como en presente. Okay, what's the rule? The rule to make whatever question is, first of all, the auxiliary verb and then the subject after that, complement. Like this. This red circle, what's the name of this? Verb B. Abajito, chicos, ya les voy a dibujar una flechita para que lo vean. ¿Lo logran ver? Este. Yes. Yes. Ok, this is a verb to be. At the moment to create a sentence, uh, a question sentence, first of all, it's verb to be. In simple present, and then the subject. Let me create another circle that will be blue. This is the subject. And the last part will be a square, and it will be Pink. This is the complement. And don't forget the question mark. That's the rule to create a question short or long 
answer. Right now, continue with uh, the yes and no questions. Here are some examples. There are some examples. For example, am I a sympathetic? ¿Alguien sabe qué significa esto? Simpático. That's right. Am I a sympathetic? Yes, you are. Or no, you aren't. Como les explicaba ayer, la forma me correcta para responder las preguntas cortas en el verbo to be o en cualquier auxiliary verb solo es yes or not at the beginning, coma, then subject, verb to be, in positive form if you are talking in positive. If your answer is yes, the verb to be has to be positive. But what happens if your answer is negative? Is no. Well, in that kind of cases, tú vas a escribir no plus subject and the negative form of verb to be. ¿Y qué pasa si vamos a hablar sobre una tercera persona? Miren este cuadro color, color anaranjado que voy a hacer. Aquí. ¿Logran verlo? Yes. Ok. This is an example how to answer when we are talking about a third person in just no questions. This is the best example to answer a question. For example, uh, guys, is Alfredo in this class? What would be your answer? Yes, please. That's right. Yes, he is. Another one. Let me choose another one. Is Stephanie Sanchez in this class? Aha, uh -huh, guys. Yes, yeah. yeah, she is. That's right. That's the right way in order to answer just no questions. And remember, hardly ever the yes or no question could be about to describe a situation or some stuff about or or themselves. Okay, next questions. Just give me a second. I need to verify something before continue. Right now, we are going to watch this video. Just give me a second. Espérenme que... ¿Verdad que no escucharon el audio? No. Perfecto. ¿Y ahora? Conversation between two people where yes, no questions and sí. short answers. Yes. In this lesson, participants okay. will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers with B are introduced. I want you to listen and notice how San He and David ask each other yes, no questions and how they answer. How's it going? Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. Ok, guys, ¿qué les pareció el video?
Teacher lo puede poner una segunda vez. Claro. Foto. Permítame. Perfecto. Me avisen si lo escuchan o si, o si se les entrecorte, por favor. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes-no questions and short answers with B are introduced. I want you to listen and notice how San He and David ask each other yes-no questions and how they answer. How's it going? Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. The cafeteria now. Thank you, guys. Eh, ¿Lo escucharon? Sí. Perfecto. And let me know, what do you think about this video, guys? ¿Mm? ¿Qué pensaron? ¿Qué les pareció? Solo tengo una duda con la, la palabra chemistry. Ah, chemistry. Eso es química. Chemistry. Química. Also, I would like to show you something about that part. Let me. That sentence that David says. Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. And when someone asks you a short question, sometimes the most of the time is just hey yes it is or she is he is or you are okay but you are free to add more information about you after that answer like david because soon ask him are your classes interesting this semester yes they are that was the answer. But David tried to go behind there. Sorry, beyond there. Yeah, beyond there. And try to add something interesting about the class. Okay, right now we will continue with the course. We will do the next one. Just give me a second. By the end of these lessons, participants will be able to make yes, no question and get your answer with B. Right now, I need to make a question. What's the structure to make a question with simple, with simple presence? ¿Cuál es la estructura que ocupamos para una sentence o Una pregunta en simple present. Una question sentence. In present. In, pre in simple present. Remember the structure? What's the structure? Uh, uh -huh. First is the verb B. For, for a question, ¿verdad? It's a question. This is a question. Verb B, then? Uh, subject? No. Then, sí, subject, and, and then complement. Just that? Question mark. That's right. Remember, without question mark, it's not a question. 
Okay, that's right. Bird to be in this case. Give me a second. What are the three forms of verb to be? ¿Cuáles son las tres formas del verbo to be? From, is, are. It's a nice sound. I like it. Okay. Can you provide me a subject? She, he. She, he. What else? I. Uh -huh. We. Uh -huh. They. You. <clears throat> right now, I need an example of a compliment. Just an example, just one. Solo un ejemplo de un complemento. Play soccer. Pregunta del millón. Using the verb be. Mm. Pronom. ¿Cuáles son los sujetos que puedan ocupar solo este complemento? I, we, they, you. Sí. Mm -hmm. sí. ¿Quién dice he? ¿Quién dijo he, no, she? No, he, she, no. No, he, she, no. Vaya, perfecto. Why? Because no. it's third person. That's right. And what's the, uh, with the rule that I send in to you today in the morning, what's the form in third person of play? ¿Cuál es la forma en tercera persona para play? Según la regla que les envié. Nice. That's right. This is an irregular verb. Porque cualquier verbo que termine en Y, como ejemplo, fly, No, no puede ir así. Es un error gramatical. ¿Cuál es la forma? Flies. Esto sería usando la regla en un verbo, pues, que solo es una excepción, una de tantas. Los felicito. Congratulations, guys. You are more than ready to create Question using verb be. And for that reason, just say we need one volunteer to create a yes or no question. Un voluntario que haga una pregunta de sí y no, que me ayude a hacerla, por favor. Are you speaking English? Excelente. ¿Vemos algún error? No. La compañera ocupó el verbo to be in the right place at the same of the subject and complement. Perfecto, guys. Ahora seguiremos con el siguiente tema. Y el siguiente tema creo que será un examen. Permítanme. Mm, no. Me adelanté. Después del video haremos un examen. Miraremos otro video. Uh, 
Antes de continuar, una pregunta al respecto, duda o consulta sobre los videos que hemos visto sobre cómo hacer preguntas usando Simple Present. Bueno, tomaré eso como un no. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes, no. Pueden oír. Sí, sí se escucha. Questions and give short answers with B. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? No, se mira. Yes, we are. Ah, lo no, we're not. ¿Cómo es de por aquí no se miraba? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb be will depend on the subject we're talking about. Also, when answering an affirmative, you have to always say yes, he is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying no, he's not or no, he isn't. No, they're not or no, they aren't. Thank you, Guy. Do you understand about this video? ¿Entendieron el video y todo, guys? Perfect. Les mostraré ahora un ejemplo. Another example about short answer using affirmative and negative. Am I late? Yes, you are. No, you aren't. Si se fijan, esta parte la... Les enseño, permítame. Esta parte casi no la hemos tocado. Las respuestas en negativo. Es the same. But the big, big different is the contraction form. La respuesta está contraída. Y la contraction form is just add an N, agregar una N, apóstrofe T. En la mayoría de los casos. This is a tricky. The only short negative answer that you cannot May a contraction, it's I'm not. In some cases, uh, many people use ain't, but it's not too formal. Ain't. Ahora, ahora bien. ¿Se sienten listos para el examen, guys? Tomaré eso como un sí. A little. <laughs> ok. I will show you and you will give me the answer.
are you from United States? Ah, oh, I forgot it. Las reglas del examen son las siguientes. Answer this question about yourself. Remember to give either a complete affirmative or negative answer. Remember to place to the period at the end of the of your sentence. En español, responde esas preguntas sobre nosotros. Recuerde escribir su respuesta completa ya de esa forma afirmativa o negativa. Recuerde colocar el punto al final. And right now, let me ask to you, are you from United States? No, I am no. No. But the real answer would be no, I am not or no, we are not. We are not happy. En este caso, ambas respuestas son, pues sí, son afirmativas, o sea, son buenas. ¿Por qué? Porque así como puedo estar hablando con una sola persona, como preguntarle al compañero, ¿eres de Estados Unidos? Y él me diga, no, yo no soy de Estados Unidos. Puedo que me esté refiriendo a un pequeño grupo. O una pareja de personas. Así es que pondremos no we are. Is your teacher from Canada? No, he is not. Y, y si lo quiero escribir en con sent. Eh, yeah. Is your English class in the morning? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's, it's not. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Are you and your best friends the same age? No, we aren't. Okay, in this, I will change for no, I'm not, because the book it chose an error if I left it like that. Just a second, guys. What happened? In the second, I put no, she is not. No, he is not. In the second. She. 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 That's right. What about this? In the ultima, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Nice. Congratulations. Claps for the for classmate. For colleague. Okay. Teacher. Dígame. Eh, puede traducir la número cuatro. Ahorita. Dice. Tú. O tú. Y tu mejor amigo. Son de la misma edad. Ah, ok. Gracias. Muy bien. Permítanme. ¿Dudas al respecto? Del tema, señoritas y señores. ¿Cómo les ha parecido? ¿Lo ¿Sienten que lo manejan? Sí, comprensible. Nice. We will continue. 
in this lesson, we, our participants will be able to read an, an article and to answer a comprehension, a comprehension questions. Lo siento, tengo la boca seca. But don't worry, guys. Dice abajo, esta lección, los participantes serán capaces de leer un artículo y contestar preguntas de comprensión. Okay, I will show you the article and together we will learn that article. What's in an A? Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. Isn't an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Where are these, these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of a famous actor, TV or book character or athletics. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinion about names from a recently survey. Boy's name, George, average, boring. Jacob, creative, friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic. Stanley, nerdy, serious. Girls names, Betty, old fashioned, Average, Emily, Independent, Adventures, Jane, Plain, Ordinary, Beautiful, Intelligent. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is traditions. Many popular are named after family members. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name, a name is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Paris in order. ¿Entendieron a la lectura, guys? Yes. ¿Y los demás? Yes. Como el silencio premia, creeré que algunos de ustedes, pues, tienen dudas y eso es normal. De, de la lectura se trata sobre los nombres. Habla de cuáles son los nombres más comunes en Estados Unidos, tanto para chicos como para chicas. Y qué es lo que convierte a un nombre popular, ya sea en forma negativa o positiva. For example, we have many, many examples. Um, someone remember uh, the Avenger movie, the first one? Alguien recuerda la película de los Vengadores? Yes. Well, in that date or in that period of time, in Mexico, many, many women, a uh, woman, so many women use the name as an actor of their. Muchas mujeres ocuparon nombres de la película y los hicieron bien comunes en México. Usaron como Thor Alejandro, Lucio Stark. And that's make a common name. Why? Because that movie was a trendy in that time frame. Y also, la lectura habla de cómo es importante cuando 
ese nombre o nuestro nombre cuando pensamos sobre nosotros. Muy probablemente sea lo primero que nos viene a la mente. ¿Y cuál es la razón principal por la cual recibimos nombres? The reading says, the biggest reason is tradition. Tradition. That's right. Tradición. Right now, the assessment. Your name is part of your identity. True or false? True. 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 People, people often feel the same way about a particular name. True. True. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. True. Uh -huh. I need an extra opinion. True or false? False. 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 Thank you. People are often named after family members. True. Opinions about name can change. True. Perfecto. And chan 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 chan. The last one is not. <laughs> But let me tell you something. You are right because at the end of the lesson it says something related with that this sets. Of course, opinion can change over time. I name that is unpopular right now becomes popular in the future. For that reason, you did a great job. We will continue, guys. Right now, I will show you something else. Just give me a second. I need to verify something. Okay. Who remember this? What's the name of this? ¿Cuál es el nombre de esto, chicos? Sí. Se congeló la pantalla. No se preocupe. Otra vez no se ve. Se congeló. Permítame un momento. Permítame. I'm so sorry, my apologies for those technical issues, guys. But what's the name of this? What is the name of this? Question. WH question. That's right. WH questions. The WH questions are used to get more information. Yesterday, we have a little uh, idea about well, w, WH questions. The most common are what, when, where, and how. The most important, it's to me, it's a personal opinion, guys. This isn't a personal opinion to me. The most important is how, where, and when. But as a little review, who is about persons. Just give me a second. Who is about persons? What 
is about things or actions. When is about what? Acerca de que es when? I. Nice. Uh, what about this one? Where? Where is about what? Place. Why? Why is about? The reason. It's a reason that something happened. For example, mm, why are you so tired? ¿Por qué estás tan cansado? Because I was working all the day. It's a, rest, a reason. And how? How is about what? Number. Y aquí les tengo algo bonito. Hay dos formas de usar how. Let me show the two ways to use how. How much and how many? What's the biggest, big difference between how much and how many? ¿Cuál es la gran diferencia entre estos dos? How much is not countable? And how many is uh, countable? <laughs> That's right. Lo que ha dicho la compañera es que unos son contables y otros no. ¿Cómo vamos a saber cuándo es un contable? For example, the sugar could be contable. No. No. What about the water? No. And the money? Yes, it's contable. Mm -hmm. But look at this. Just give me a second. I will. It will. It will be a square, a pink square look at this can you see the square what says how much money did you spend pregunto ahora por qué puedo ocupar how much y money mm -hmm. Because it's uncountable. Es cierto, nosotros podemos contar nuestros billetes de 5, 10, 15 y los ricos que tienen 20. Pero eso no significa de que ese mismo billete va a tener el mismo valor en otros lados. And money is not the paper, it's the coin. Esa es la moneda en sí, es el dólar. El dólar, el peso, la rupia, la libra. That's money. No es exactamente el dólar o el, sí el nombre de la moneda. For that reason, money is uncountable. Uh, right now. How much also we can use to know the price? ¿Cómo le preguntarían a alguien cuánto te costaron esos zapatos? ¿Mm? Ocuparían how much? Mm -hmm. How much did you pay for those shoes? O how much did your jacket cost? Puede ser así como para una chaqueta. How much did your shoes cost? And also, you can use not just for clothes, for food also. How much 
are the pupusas? Right now, what about how many? El how many se ocupa para contables. Ahora bien. Lo, the days are countable. Los días son contables. Yes. Yes. Okay. What about um, people? People are countable. Yes. Uh, what about books? Yes. Cell phones? Yes. And if table. I want, yes, table also is countable. Uh, if I want to ask, uh, cuántas, cuántas sillas tiene una mesa? ¿Qué voy a ocupar? How much or how many? How much? How many? How many? The, re the answer is how many, guys. Remember, chairs is countable. And much, it's just for uncountable. Si lo puedes contar, how many? Si no, <laughs> how much? This is a tips. Right now, just give me, show you a little video, the last one. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Bueno, chicos, pregunto. Vamos a darle un pequeño review a esto rápido. How many... WH question did you find here? How many? One. En todo el párrafo, ¿cuántas WH question did you find? Two. One, two, three. Five. Four. 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 ¿Quién dijo cinco? Who said five? Five. Six. Five. Six. It's one. No. Two. Six. Three. Three. Four. It's, what is the number three? Mm. Four. Four, five, five, and six. six. Believe me, I guess at the beginning just five. At the beginning, just I count five, but you did a great job than me because you discover six instead of five. Great job, guys. 
Next one, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Well, simple present will be for tomorrow, but today I will send in, uh, we learn about WH questions and also about Okay, guys. Today we learn about the WH questions, the different how much and how many. The different WH questions about George's answer using the simple present verb B with verb B. And ah, this is from yesterday. Okay, guys, today uh, oh, we almost cover all, all the agenda. I am so proud of you. You shows that you are improved. No se preocupen, chicos. Yo estaré enviándoles también parte de los de los temas que hemos visto el día de ahora. Entonces los estaré enviando por su grupo de WhatsApp. Y también estaré enviando adelantos sobre las clases de mañana. Ahora bien, me gustaría saber qué opinan sobre la clase. ¿Cómo la sintieron el día de ahora? Como es la primer, el primer día que me conecto, sentí un poquito, me sentí un poquito confundida, pero ya al final ya, ya me voy a poner al día. No se preocupe, yo creo que todos, les sé sincero al inicio, pues eh, yo hasta mi momento me he sentido así cuando he tenido nuevas clases, así es que es algo normal. Eh, bueno. Al ver que no tienen preguntas, no se preocupen, pueden escribir al grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí hay una compañera también donde les estaremos respondiendo todas sus preguntas. Eh, si no les quedó duda, si les quedó duda sobre algún tema, no duden. Yo con mucho gusto haré un recap, eh, tanto en español como en el inglés, porque quiero que también practiquen el listening. Muy bien, es todo por hoy. Se cuidan. Nos vemos mañana. Adiós. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye.